Al igual que Loren, muchos de ellos toman drogas para aliviar su depresión. Para muchas personas las drogas por sí solas no son suficientes para mantener la depresión a raya. Las investigaciones han demostrado que la manera más efectiva para tratar la depresión es con una combinación de drogas y terapia oral. Talk therapy works because it works on the brain. Anytime we learn something new, anytime we change our mind about something, anytime we remember something, we can do that only by changing the physical structure of our brain, by changing literally synaptic connections so that we're processing information differently. We can think of therapy as the brain learning a skill that's not unlike learning a complex motor skill or, for example, um, um, becoming adept uh, at a particular sport uh, or becoming adept at a musical instrument where there's systematic practice and that practice leads to a demonstrable change in behavior. Uh, you know, the anxiety of getting depression is almost worse yes. than the depression. Yes. And the thing that you need to remember about that is that you have always gone through it, maybe with cuts and scrapes and serious wounds, but you've always gone through it. So. The curiosities and energies that had always been rightfully mine were finally taking their place. And yet for me it was not that simple. My personality, yes, had always consisted of suppressed energies and curiosities, but also of depressions, echoing intensities, drivenness that tipped into pain. I missed these things, or parts of them anyway, for they were as familiar to me as dense fog and drizzle, which has its own sort of lonely beauty, as does a desert or the most mournful of music. Having lived with chronic depression, a high-pitched panic, and a host of other psychiatric symptoms since my earliest years, I had made for myself an illness identity, a story of self that had illness as its main motive, the explanatory model on which my being was based. And now gone, I had tipped over, stepped over the border into health. There was no more depression, which had felt like the stifling yet oddly comforting weight of a woolen blanket or anxiety which lent a certain fluorescence to things, or voices which had always been there, sometimes louder, sometimes softer, some north star of sound in the night. En los 12 años que han pasado desde que dejó el hospital que se había convertido en su segundo hogar, Loren ha controlado su depresión y ha aprendido a vivir con ella. A veces puede ser una paz precaria, pero le ha permitido escribir y convertirse en una autora aclamada por la crítica. When I was in the hospital, there was a mental health worker who was so smart and she said to me around maybe my fourth time in, you know, you're just going to come back here forever, aren't you? And it looked that way. It looked like that was going to be my life. Well, in some ways I feel like I'm just so damn successful. <laughs> <laughs> but not for the reasons that you might think, um, but because I'm out, and I've stayed out. The adult brain is capable of the whole panoply of human thought. 
but it's emotion that is at the very heart of our thinking lives. Our lives are governed by emotions and the interaction of emotions with our thought processes. That's, that's who we are. We are emotional people. There's no such thing as a, a non-emotional moment in life. Pensamos sintiendo. ¿Qué hay que saber? Escucho mi ser danzando de oído en oído. Despierto para dormir y despierto con lentitud. Aprendo y hielo a donde tengo que ir.